Well, hello everyone, we are back. We hello. are back to talk about our little adventures in England as well as board games. We are reunited with Dexter. Yes. <laughs> After being away uh, for about two weeks almost. You know, we were gone for Dice Tower West mm -hmm. for about, almost five days. That was about five days. And yeah. then that, that sprung board right into Aircon, our, uh, a trip to London followed by Aircon. Yes. And then all the way back home. So, uh, yeah, it was a long adventure, but we are glad to be back. And he's sleepy, so I'm going to put him back under the table. <laughs> he is. Yes, so last time we all spoke, I believe we were in London when we recorded that, that last mm -hmm. uh, Let's Talk Board Games, and we had just arrived. Um, I don't know if we mentioned it there, but our last day at Dice Tower West was really wild. <laughs> it was, yeah. Naveen woke up early to do our laundry. <laughs> I did, yeah. So we tr we wanted to pack light, so we only packed for about eight days, but we had a 14-day trip. So we had this bright idea that on the Sunday before leaving for Aircon, we would go to a laundromat and do some laundry. It was good in theory. Good in theory. Um, but not in practice. Not in practice, You just no. have to not sleep late, right? That's right. The night before. Yes. <laughs> That's the problem. But you're in Las Vegas, so yeah. you stay up pretty late, then the alarm goes off and you really hate yourself. Yeah. So. I got it done though. I did the laundry, no stinky clothes in England. Yes. So. And to be clear, I was editing a video. It That's wasn't true. that I didn't want to go. Well, you know, I just, uh, we, we needed to divide and conquer. That's right. So that was how our, our day went right before going to London. And we got to play one more game um, with some friends. So that, mm -hmm. was, that was fun. But enough about Dice Tower West. Let's talk about Aircon. Sure. So we finally met the Watch It Play team. All of us, all six of us were in the same room once yes. and for all and not just on a Zoom call or a uh, Skype right. call. So the first two days, we got to just kind of hang out together as a team mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, kind of group before embarking on this long uh, Aircon journey. We did a little bit of sightseeing around London at night. That was really, that was a lot of fun. It was nice. Yeah. Walking along the Thames River and just kind of seeing all the different sites. Yeah. Uh, the air was nice. Uh, the weather was perfect the whole time that we yeah, were there. Beautiful. Apparently there was like three storms before we got there. And right as we got there, it all cleared up. Yeah. So I the don't, air was clean. It was beautiful. I don't think it rained a day. No, not well, once. While we were in England. Yeah. It was just, just beautiful. And with the Watch It Play team, by the way, we were able to get in a few games. Mm -hmm. um, we introduced them to Colorado. We played a game called Null. Null und Nichtig. Yeah. Which is a German game from Amigo. I cannot remember the designer, but it's a ladder. No, it's, is it a ladder? No, it's like a it's trick taking game. game. But the suits don't matter. It's just about the value. Uh, and so you're just trying to screw other people over, basically. <laughs> and then for the next two days, the Wednesday and Thursday before the convention started, because Aircon uh, started on Friday. We were on what's called the Air Bus, which was something that was organized, you know, before the convention. A group of people registered to be on the bus and we would all travel together, kind of hopping along different sites on yeah. our way to Harrogate. Harrogate, which, which is, is the in, the, in the north of England. So we basically all uh, kind of convened in London, in the heart of London, mm -hmm. got on this, uh, this nice, really, really nice bus mm -hmm. and then basically kind of had this like board game pub crawl all the way to Harrogate, which is yeah. a two-day adventure. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. You yeah. know, the, everybody on the bus, we all became close friends. Mm -hmm. And by, by the end of it, we were just really good friends. Mm -hmm. And it was it was so much fun. And also just, you know, during the convention, being able to see these friendly faces and know that you already had a friend. It was great. It was a great time. Yeah, it was nice. It was nice uh, in the convention itself, which was held Friday through Sunday. People that, you know, were on the bus, you would see them off in the corner playing mm -hmm. something and it's like, oh, they met on the bus. So that's such a great uh, kind of opportunity yeah. for them to, to get to know somebody, especially if they're coming from outside of the country. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you yes. know, somebody at the con, which was really, really exciting for them. Yeah. And on the bus itself, we stopped over some some really neat spots. We, we stopped over a couple of board game cafes where we got to stop and play board games together. Mm -hmm. I played Settlers of Catan. <laughs> With Rodney, Paula, and then our, a friend of ours who's all on the bus. Mm -hmm. I did not expect to play Catan on this trip. I don't know if I expected to play it this year. It's been a long time. I think two two of the four of you had not played Catan, I think. Yes, I think Paula had played it once. Okay. Paula really wanted to play it. And then um, our friend mm -hmm. on the bus had not played it at all. Right. So Rodney and I were like, let's play Catan. Rodney, do you remember how to play this? <laughs> and Rodney was like, that. Do you remember how to play it? <laughs> so we both were just like back and forth trying to remember and teach this game. And it's Catan of all games, right? Mm. So it was it was really fun. And I finally got to play Roll for the Galaxy, which was one that I've been wanting to play for a very, very long time. I think in our Q&A, somebody asked, what is a game on the top 100 that you would have loved to play that mm -hmm. you haven't played yet? And I said Roll for the Galaxy, not knowing that it was just outside the top 100. 
Uh, so one of our good friends who was also on the Airbus and... saw that video and was like, I'm going to teach it to you when we get to England. So yeah, in this sweet. board game cafe on Wednesday, it was finally taught to me. I got to play it. Uh, I got my butt kicked because I didn't know what I was doing very well, but I Good. definitely have now some knowledge as to kind of the flow as to what you need to do. So I'm excited to play it again. Uh, if you like dice chucking games and you just like to kind of manipulate your dice and, and try to build up a, a little tableau, uh, that is a game for you. Thank you, Anne. Thanks. During the Airbus trip, we also stopped by Warhammer World, which was really kind of mind blowing. Yeah. Right? The company that makes Warhammer is a really huge company yeah. in uh, the UK. Games Workshop. Games Workshop, mm -hmm. yes. And they have a factory there, uh, that which also houses their museum, where they have a bunch of professionally painted and, and put together miniatures in different uh, display cases and such. Yeah, this location is in uh, Nottingham, and it's mm -hmm. uh, it's kind of an all-in-one uh, location. They they manufacture there. They have kind of a restaurant there. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, they also have uh, beautiful displays of uh, various scenes uh, from the Warhammer world. Right. So, uh, they have a store. And they have a store also. And so uh, there's quite a bit to see there. Uh, it was really, really fun. Um, I, I don't have too much familiarity with Warhammer, so it was really cool to kind of check out all the different things that are available. Yeah. And Paula and I did a Warhammer a tutorials gameplay series on Watch It Played last summer. So that was like the first time that I had any insight into Warhammer. Mm -hmm. And so going to Warhammer World was kind of surreal. It was really, really cool knowing how difficult it is to put together those pieces, seeing these professionally constructed, you know, environments and all of this stuff. It was, it was wild. Yeah, leading up to that Warhammer, the, the five video series that you did with Paula, we just made just a couple <laughs> models. And yeah. It took us so long. I could imagine, you know, the, the amount of time it takes to create yeah. these huge dioramas. Yes. Um, Naveen chopped off a head. Actually. I chopped off a head accidentally. <laughs> so it's just like, you know, you're trying to like work at it. Yeah. Really, really small. It's kind not of, easy. Not easy. We spent a majority of our time kind of, you know, spending time with everybody on the bus, but we did get to play some stuff on the bus. Yeah. Uh, we were introduced to a game called the Shipwreck Arcana. Yes. That was probably the most notable one in my mind. Mm -hmm. uh, that was another, that was also introduced by Anne. You know, she, she knows all the great games mm -hmm. and uh, it's a deduction game with really neat card artwork some really kind of like abstract artwork but it's mm -hmm. fully cooperative and uh it, it's just different it was a different kind of deduction game than, than i'm used to and i really love deduction in board games yeah it's a math-based deduction game uh i i hate the fact that we're talking about this because it, it, right now you can't get it uh, yeah you can't so get it i do apologize so. for that we went uh to another board game cafe actually along the way and taught it to some of the locals there uh, in Nottingham, uh, this board game cafe is called the Dice Cup. Uh, we taught it to a couple people there. They also enjoyed it. So um, yeah, it's, it's a really, really fun game. Hopefully, if it does come back in stock, we can get it and then feature it on the channel. And now on to Aircon. So Aircon, if you're not familiar with it, is a convention. It's a play-focused convention that is in Harrogate, Mm -hmm. in in England mm -hmm. and uh, it's a Friday through Sunday convention it's it's kind of like a home homegrown yes because uh, Mark the the person who started the convention I believe he started in his own home yeah and then like, over the course of seven years he's now at the point where, where they're renting out uh, you know this this huge space yeah it's really it's really kind of impressive mm -hmm. because people really love this convention you know you talk to everybody or whenever we talk to somebody we'd ask them is this your first time here you know how are you enjoying the convention and a lot of a lot of people it was their first time right. but a lot of people it was not and they really love it they're like i come here every year mm -hmm. like i don't miss this one if i'm going to go to one convention it's this one yeah and and i think of a big part of it besides just kind of like that really really a friendly ambiance is the fact that it is just it's play, play you purpose. come to play bring yeah. the games that you want to play there are a ton of tables and you just play games with your friends or with just people that you're going to meet there mm -hmm. there's also a library a nice library that features chaz marler ah yeah. hey hey stranger oh hey <laughs> would you like to introduce the library <laughs> The library is fairly extensive. It's pretty good. Um, we never used it, unfortunately, because of the fact that we were kind of running different events. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. It, it has a good selection. It has a good selection yeah. on it, yeah. So we were very busy mm -hmm. <laughs> with everybody on the Watch It Play team. We had a schedule, uh, which meant we didn't get to play a whole lot of open play games. We were running uh, panels, and uh, I taught, a, I co-taught a game of Savannah Park, a mega game of Savannah Park with Rodney, and that was like a really surreal moment, yeah. being able to teach alongside Rodney. Everybody was extremely nice. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, we say that like every time we go somewhere basically because every, I don't know, people are just really nice. Yeah. But the people in at that convention were particularly nice. And I don't know what it is, but the British accent, 
I just have to say. Is it very pleasant? It's so pleasant. <laughs> and it's so funny. Like, we, we, we helped run a game of Werewolf. We assisted in a yes. game of Werewolf Extreme. And everybody sat around in a circle. If you're not familiar with Werewolf, werewolf it's like Mafia or, mm -hmm. you know, it's a big group game, a social deduction group game. About 25 people sitting in a circle accusing each other. Yes, yes. exactly. You know, there was a moment where everybody kind of went around the circle introducing themselves and saying whether or not they're the werewolf. That's and right. every single person that said hilarious. something was hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, is everybody a comedian? And we just don't know. Yeah. There's just something about the word choice and the choice of, of language, I guess, the yes. way that... that yeah, people in the UK speak. Speak, yeah. It's just so funny. Very pleasant. <laughs> Very pleasant, yeah. So back to Aircon. Um, we each got to run a game uh, at the Geek and Sun tables where we taught a game that the people who were going to be playing with us got to choose. Mm -hmm. And so I ran two games. I ran Elysium as well as um, Animal, Animal Kingdoms, Kingdoms because yes. our, my second game was actually not available. Mm -hmm. But uh, the two groups that I ran were super nice. So, so, so pleasant. And uh, the game of Elysium that I ran, everybody was so competitive. Yeah. It was hilarious. And I hadn't played Elysium in years. That's just another reminder of how great of a game that is. That is a fantastic game. That was on yeah. your top 50. Yes. Uh, it so stays there. It stays there after that play, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I played uh, Animal Kingdom actually twice. Um, because you really love that game. I do love that game. <laughs> it plays up to five players, and it plays well at all player counts, two to five. So mm -hmm. when we were, uh, I was thinking of games to run. Mm -hmm. I wanted to play something that I knew could scale no matter how many people showed up to the table. Yeah. And so, uh, yeah, we played it twice, and so far, everybody... That that I've introduced it to enjoys it or at least finds it amusing yeah um, finds it amusing. yeah and yeah. it's it's uh it was also on my top 50 of all time so that's why I wanted to choose it and before we forget thank you so much for these we were gifted a box of these uh Cadbury milk trays you know Naveen loves I chocolate love chocolate and I do too I do yeah. now oh yeah <laughs> These are amazing. You can't get these in the U.S. So, in addition to Werewolf and the Mega Savannah Park, um, Rodney and Chaz ran a Mega Wits and Wagers, mm -hmm. and I, I caught the end of that. That was really funny. I did miss that one, unfortunately. Yeah. But we all did join together to help them run a Mega Strike Tournament, and mm -hmm. that was really intense. <laughs> it was. It was pretty epic. Yeah, right? that one. So, in most tournaments, whenever you go to a convention. The people only at the kind of the final table kind of stick around. In this yeah. particular game, almost everybody stuck around. Almost yeah. like 60 people are, are huddled around this one little one table, table watching two people kind of go at it. Yeah, and it was uh, extra dramatic because yeah. Rodney had his his very special painted uh, strike board. He had You're a custom with painted strike. strike board. This is truly a dice chucker where you have like dice gladiators. That's You're trying right. to be like the last person standing. Right. It's really, it's actually really fun. Mm -hmm. We also uh, participated in the bring and buy, which is like uh, the convention's version of a flea market. Here we call it the flea market at our conventions, but it's way more organized. This is the bring and buy queue. In there people have brought and we are going to buy. Wonderful. That's the whole gist. <laughs> Can queue is a line. Okay. Choose line for our American audience. Right. Everything has a barcode. Everything has a price tag on it. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, you there's these shelves and kind of like this uh, this pathway that you kind of walk down. Uh, you can just browse and then buy something and then take it to the checkout. And, yeah. and it's really, really organized. And there's a, a significant uh, portion of the room was for uh, proceeds go towards Ukraine. Yeah, it was, so, a, it was a pay what you want. Pay what you want, yeah. Uh, there was like a, a little proceeds. sticker tag on it with a, the Ukrainian flag on it and any proceeds to that purely went to the two. Ukraine effort. So that was really beautiful. Mm -hmm. We picked up two games from there. We picked up a... Uh... Mystery Rummy. Mystery Rummy, yes. yes. There's several versions of this game. Yeah, we I picked believe. up two different versions of it. Uh, I don't really know too much about it. We know nothing, I know nothing. about the Mystery Rummy series. I just heard it. You know, you probably are familiar. Yeah. Or you probably do the same thing where it's like, I heard it in a video somewhere. And now I'm thinking like, I don't That's know if they that. said it was bad or if it was good, but... We picked it up. I enjoyed so. Rummy uh, all throughout high school. I yeah. played with my friends uh, like in between classes and Sounded stuff. Cool. So maybe maybe it'll be good. And of course, there's an exhibitor section where you can kind of walk around and see what they're selling and all that stuff. So it was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Tons of table space. It's just people playing games all weekend long. Yeah, I never found uh, like a moment where there wasn't at least something available to sit down. Sometimes I've gone to conventions, uh, even our local convention, where yeah. it's so packed where it's like, I have no table space. I have this game. I'm ready to play with my four friends, but I can't do it this place uh, there was plenty of space uh, for people to find a nice comfortable spot and, and play and like I was mentioning we didn't get to play a whole lot of games but we did get to play a four-player game of modern art mm -hmm. which is an auction it, that is probably that's my favorite auction game I'm it's one I'm of my favorites yeah very bad at auction games but that is probably the best one in my yeah. mind uh -huh. right that's a Reiner Knizia game and uh, I didn't come in last for the first time that's good yeah thank you yeah <laughs> I think it came in third but it was really fun 
So thank you so much, Tom, for hosting that. And last but not least, we were able to introduce a game to the Watch It Play team the last night that we all kind of, you know, spent together. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a game called Doodle Dash, and that was hilarious. Yeah, this one Just is a, it's a Norwegian uh, designed game uh, from a company called Chili Fox, mm -hmm. which was introduced to us back in uh, PAX Unplugged back yeah. in December. Uh, when we went to the Traveling Man, I saw it on the shelf, and I was like, I'm, I'm just going to pick this up because this is a fantastic game. I really, yeah. really enjoy it. It's fun. Uh, it is kind of like just one, but you're not all cooperative. Um, you are trying to basically guess people's drawings uh, in a quick kind of fashion so that you can score points. Uh, there's a lot more to it than yeah. that. Yeah, basically somebody has a card. If I'm guessing the word, then I give everybody a number, mm -hmm. and then they all have to draw that word. And uh, it's kind of, there's a time, there's a speed time element. limit yeah, yeah, element to it. Everybody starts drawing really, really quickly. And then whoever the first one to finish drawing is grabs this stick. And then whoever the second person to finish their drawing is starts rolling this die. And as soon as the stop symbol shows die, up shows on the die, symbol, yeah. everybody has to stop drawing no matter how finished they are. Mm -hmm. And uh, when it comes to scoring, the first person who finished their drawing gets to show their drawing first. Only Exclusively, to, Exclusively. That, to the guesser, yeah. Yes, and if the guesser is able to guess it just on that first drawing, then only they score, score a point. Points, yep. If not, then it goes to the second person, but the first person keeps their drawing face up. So now the guesser has two drawings to go base off of. Mm -hmm. And if they're able to guess it on that, then the second person and the guesser, and the guesser. gets the point. Right. If not, then it goes to everybody else who was not first and second, and now the guesser has everybody's drawings to go off of. Right. So it was hilarious playing it with the Watch It Play team yeah. because they're also just a very funny uh, group of people. <laughs> Wait, roll the die, roll the die. Unfair. No, not you. you <laughs> Chaz is amazing. Chaz is very game. good at art. Yeah. Uh, so he was just constantly getting that that first player stick. But his drawing would be done. His drawing would be <laughs> done. It'd be like yeah. perfect. Like yeah. I couldn't draw that no. in in that in any amount of time. No, no. And he would do it first. So it was a little bit unfair, yeah. I must say. <laughs> but it was really really fun. So all in all, it was a fantastic time. We are exhausted. We are super jet lagged. Um, yeah, I've had some days of uh, three hours of sleep, some days of 11 hours of sleep yeah. since coming back. So my body clock is just getting kind of back to itself for yes. what it should be. But we are both back to work. So yes. work doesn't care if you're jet lagged, right? That's right, yeah. So we're trying to work through that. But all in all, it was a fantastic time. Thank you to everybody who came to Aircon and said hello. We were able to connect with a lot of people over mm -hmm. there. And thank you for sharing your beautiful beautiful country with us mm -hmm. right the weather was just perfect and i don't i don't know if i could say enough good things about the yeah trip. it was a really good time we mm -hmm. had a really really fantastic time can't wait to go back to england in the future and thank you all so much for watching our video we hope you enjoyed it we will see you at the next playthrough take care bye, bye.